Hi, welcome back to Kishcat Classes. My name is Kishore Kumar. I am the founder of Kishcat Classes. I started training students preparing for CAT in 2011. That's I started for CAT 2011. So in the last four years, I have trained 179 students. 92 of them got IAM final admission. Some of them are already passed out of IAMs. Some of them are currently in IAM. Today, I'm going to give you an idea about a very important chapter of quant section of CAT. That is numbers. Numbers must be very, very familiar topic. It's just an universal topic, whether students are talking about their marks or whether students are talking about the average salaries that they are going to get through placements or whether finance experts, whether they are talking about bank rates or repo rates or whether we are talking about cricket scores, everything deals with numbers. But do remember, all these things that I have informed you, even though they are from numbers, they take numbers of base system 10. It's not any other base, the base system 10. Now, when we are talking about uh, a chapter which is quite familiar to every single candidate, it must be very easy for a large pool of cat aspirants. As I told you through my previous videos, some chapters of cat must be advantageous for some background students that is like engineering students. I informed you that almost 40% of IIM Ahmedabad Bangalore Calcutta batches comprises of IIT and, and NIT students. So it, it seems that they have got an extra edge in CAT preparation and I informed you that the extra edge they have is in modern maths that is permutation combination and coordinate geometry and they have a very good edge in algebra. Do they have extra edge in numbers? That's what you should know. Well, they don't have because IIT JE or any other including the 10th level exam or plus 2 exam, they don't focus on numbers. So numbers was till 6th standard or 7th standard. So it means the IIT or NIT candidates, they don't have extra edge here. They are on par with every other aspirant. So they start from the scratch and every other candidate has to start from scratch. Since it's a familiar topic, you should be knowing what types of questions or what concepts are tested in CAT rather than trying to solve every single thing. And also we should be knowing the weightage of numbers. Let me show you. So in the last 25 years of CAT, that is from 1990 to 2014, the number of quant questions, the quantitative ability questions were 987, out of 987, 219 are numbers based questions. I am not precisely talking about only numbers, numbers as well as numbers based. Of course, numbers based questions are numbers, pure numbers questions are more. Numbers based questions that is like in connection with numbers and progressions, numbers and then simple equations questions are very limited. Now they are combined with 219. That's almost like 22 percentage of quant. That must be a very, very big chapter. Let's see whether these 290 are spread across the 25 years evenly or whether there is an extra edge or whether some years have a huge number of numbers questions and then where some years there is absolutely very very limited or very low. Now this is the weightage of uh, numbers in the last 25 years. So obviously the blue lines are number of questions whereas the other the bars are like number of questions and now, if you observe, if you pay closer attention to it actually, 
the percentage of number of questions is almost like uh, if, if we pay that is coming between 20 and 25 almost all the times even though the number of questions back in uh, 1995 or 2001 2002 seems to be very high that's 14 and whereas uh, the number of questions in 2010 and 11 are very limited to four questions still like the weightage is almost like 20 to 25 percent so this is the most important thing why we do have a more number of questions in 2000 1995-2000 like the total number of questions of cat are also like very high in some days it was once 185 165 150 now once you you under, understand this graph that 20 to 25 percent of quant questions are coming from numbers we should be knowing exactly which topics or which concepts are tested let's have a look at the difference concepts tested here if you can pay closer attention to this pie chart you can see that the three areas which are which seem to be dominating in fact two are literally dominating and then they almost take 50 percent along with them that is basic concepts which are very very simple and then equation based questions equation i'm not talking about algebra actually i'm talking about a very simple equation which involved which has got more role for numbers now the other area is like basic reminder theorem that's about 33 questions that's almost 15 percent and then basic concepts is 26 equation based is 21 and if you pay closer attention to the other side we have got progressions and then series and sequences progressions means it's the numbers are given in a proper order whereas sequence is like numbers are given in a random order they also dominate now, if you pay the other closer attention like uh, on the right hand side of the screen you can see the chinese remainder theorem constant remainder theorem application of euler number application of lcm hcf power cycles factors based factorial based or i have taken variable based also these are eight different things where eight different things the weightage is very much limited yeah, so the three things that dominate is equation based basic concept and basic reminder theorem but i strongly suggest you not to ignore any single topic here because we get probably very limited questions in numbers that's about 20 to 25 percent so what really happens is like if you are getting more number of questions from euler number or power cycles and if you completely neglect them the chances are that you are not just losing one or two questions but you are losing significant percentage of the questions also now so from the two charts we can easily conclude that the focus was in favor of basic concepts basic reminder theorem simple equation based questions and series and sequence however there are more popular topics we know that euler number is very popular power cycles is very popular chinese remainder theorem constant number theorem of course popular means a lot of students in online forums a lot of my students and also i found that majority of the students prepare for cat actually they discuss a lot of questions of power cycles euler number theorem chinese number theorem they are very popular but they find very limited space in cat but they are the game changers look if we are able to solve basic questions as well as equation based questions well it does not mean that we are solving all the questions it does not mean that other people they don't solve these questions well we are following a gang of people or a group of people that's about 30 40 percent of the cat takers they solve every single question if the question is relatively very simpler or they're very easier they're very familiar but you should have an extra edge so so the extra edge comes from the unfamiliar or more popular topics where the weightage is very limited so i suggest you not to join not to simply think that okay i can solve five questions out of eight questions of numbers it means that i'm scoring so all the five questions can be solved by almost all the competitors now there are two other theorems that is fermat little theorem Fermat's little theorem and wilson theorem and they're very simple but they never appeared in cat why why they never appeared in cat is quite simple 
well these are just two simple theorems and they are based on one or two simple questions so once you solve a single former theorem question or wilson theorem question that's it enough we don't get varieties of questions here that's why they don't now from 1990 to 2015 that is 2014 the level of difficulty of cat papers varied there's a huge variation if you find uh, if you have gone through the earlier 1990 papers you can find that a lot of questions are arithmetic questions a lot of numbers very simple questions but if you are moving closer to 2005 6 7 8 questions you find that a lot of lot of different questions where the application part is very very high some of them are very tricky questions i always suggest you to go through 2005 7 and 8 papers solve them try to understand the questions there is no point in trying to just solve the questions and also i suggest you to focus on application part of concepts related to series and sequence this is where you need to save a lot of time yeah once you are not familiar with series or sequence type or progression type of questions the chances are that you can solve the question but you need to invest more time the time is the most precious one in any competitive examination and cat goes the same line yeah. and also a majority of the cat questions that is numbers questions can be solved by using just a simple common sense or by just converting the given variables into simple variables simple numbers so focus on variables through this video oh, not through this through my next videos i'm going to teach all the concepts every single concept and in all the concepts i'm going to explain you a variable based questions or questions where you can create a duplicate questions or questions you can see that okay these are flexible questions so in, in a flexible question you can substitute any number you can substitute one two three so instead of uh, really worrying about a range of uh, values that you need to sub substitute in the place of x y z you probably can substitute any number so what can i do for you that's the most important thing what I can do is, okay, let me give you a clearer idea from the graphs that I've shown you. I predict that seven and eight quant questions are going to come from numbers, numbers based. And the percentage of them is going to be 20 to 24 for, for quant section, that is section one. Overall, the weightage of numbers is going to be 78%. Now, what I can do is, I'm going to present a series of videos and interlinked videos in each and every video that i'm going to present to you in the initial videos i'm going to discuss every single concept in depth and also i present you a worksheet for every single concept and in the worksheet i present all types of questions including all the levels of questions just go through the worksheet, solve the questions and you can refer videos. So I'm going to upload video solutions for every single question. The most important one. The worksheets, a special worksheet. In that special worksheet, I'm going to give you all the 219 questions which asked in CAT. I'm going to give you not all 219, I'm going to give you very close to 170, 180. Because if, if, if one topic is covered multiple times and where the level of difficulty is very limited, you don't need to solve the question frequently. So I'm going to give you say around 170 questions. Now all the questions are divided into four different types of things, that is four different levels. I don't stick that easy, very easy, difficult, moderate kind of one. I'm not familiar with this kind of language. Whenever I prepared, I say that okay some of the questions without knowing I can solve them by using common sense. Some of them may be very lengthy but still if I am if I can solve a question by using common sense then that is my level 1 that is a lower level. Absolutely. The second one is like uh, the second level it involves a lot of application. Application of concepts. Now the application of concepts questions are more in cat. Almost like 60 to 70 percent of 
the questions whether you take section 1 section 2 section 3 almost all of them 60 to 70 percent of the questions were directly based on concept application of concepts the third one is obviously tricky questions as well as time consuming questions so that is my rating number three and the, my final rating is some questions are unfamiliar even though we have solved a lot of questions in mock ads or in classroom programs or through materials still some questions are unfamiliar we don't know how to approach them and also some complex conditions are involved so such a questions i've given a rating for so all the 25 years of cat questions of all the concepts would be divided into four different levels of difficulty and i present you through worksheets and also solve them i suggest you to solve them you can go through the videos to find the solutions now how i'm going to present the most important thing so i present in a proper order first i focus on reminder theorems now i'm going to focus on basic reminder theorem and immediately i move to divisibility rules because the remaining reminder theorem that is chinese reminder theorem constant reminder theorem or fermat little theorem euler number or wilson little theorem including the application of lcm hcf uh, they they are going to be very easy once we know the divisibility rules so it means the first one is basic reminder theorem then it's going to be divisors so i suggest you to go through the concepts of divisors then come back at the then go through the remaining ones i have given least common multiple and highest common factor in reminder theorems actually i am going to explain you why i have taken lcm and hcf in reminder theorems because they are very closer to reminder theorems you can solve just by using theorem methodology then the other thing is like power cycles in power cycles also you don't need to really know every single thing the cat the power cycles were very limited 7 8 questions in the last 25 years and the types of questions that are asked in CAD, like last digit, when we take a number and raise it to some power, we need to find its last digit or the last two digits or the non-zero number from the unit term. So these are the only three areas. The factorials is very, very limited. So the factorials could be like the number of zeros in n factorial or the highest power of x contained in n factorial or like first non-zero number from the unit digit of n factorial so the last one that is the first non-zero number from the unit digit of n factorial is slightly tricky but that that's not going to take a longer longer time that, that's going to, to be like four or five minutes of understanding is more than sufficient then the other one is like factors factors is very important we don't get direct questions from factors but factors are going to be going to play a crucial role in solving a lot of numbers based questions so i'm going to teach you that number of factors for n number some of the factors the product of the factors and also i'm going to focus on how many even factors are there how many odd factors are there how many prime factors so these are quite simple things so i'm going to present a series of videos and worksheets for all the videos and cat questions and again videos So my next video is going to be on basic reminder theorem. Thank you.